This is a wagon. Years ago, we used it to haul things back and forth to the market, on the farm, and anywhere we needed to go because we had horses. The horses could pull the wagon. The wagon held stuff, including children or people. And we used it for many, many different things. This is also a wagon. It's a covered wagon. As wagons began to be better, the, as we were better at making wheels and things that would uh, help them ride better and ride further, we were able to use the covered wagon to head west. When there was stories of opportunities, when we heard about the gold rushes and all the opportunities out west, the covered wagon took us out west to see what was new. This is also a wagon. It's a station wagon. Some of us, as children, were raised riding in station wagons, with, usually without seat belts, and sometimes in smoke-covered enclosures. This is also a wagon in a way. We call it a minivan. Minivans are updated to station wagons. So they also carry things. They also haul children. They also are climate controlled. They allow us to go further and faster than ever before, even with some fuel economy and other modern conveniences. We can watch movies, we can play music, um, and it's not even so terrible to bring the kids on vacation if they have a movie to watch. It's climate controlled, and we get there in relatively easy fashions. This is a church building. As we moved out west and as we civilized territory in the New World, we built church buildings like this. We got in our covered wagon or we got in our not covered wagon and let the horses take us to church. Some guy, usually it was a guy, most often it was a guy, that had the information we wanted, that had the spiritual dirt that told us how we should live our lives and disseminated this information to us, came to this building, came to our towns, and so we went to listen to him. We went to sing songs that over time we developed to, that made us feel a part of, like we were part of a community. And this person disseminated that information and we sang songs together and we had picnics at the church building. Then we got back in our wagon and went home. This is a modern church building. Sometimes it's even called a campus. It's so big. As people moved to the cities, churches got bigger and bigger. They became more and more like corporations. They promised to do everything for us, to provide activities and something for the kids and all of that. The sermon became more demonstrative, more entertaining. The concerts got bigger and bigger and more flashy over time. This is a telegraph. It was used in the days of the wagon to communicate over wires. A series of beeps and dashes could be interpreted by the person on the other end of the line and we could send messages literally across the country. The telegraph led to the telephone. Telephones also communicated across these electrical lines. The telephones at first were harder to use but became easier and easier over time. Eventually, this led to the cell phone, which did, didn't need wires, but communicated through the air. And even though they were large and bulky and unreliable at first, they got better and better over time. This led to the smartphones that we have today. Smartphones have also evolved in a short amount of time, but now they literally can do almost anything send email and all kinds of other necessary functions for us they 
essentially bring us information and connect us to people. Inherent in all this is the internet, which connects us to various things. Movies from all over the planet, movies from all times during history can be accessed via the internet. Electronic mail or email in some cases almost replaces the hand delivered note that used to be carried by Pony Express. Video conferences are now not just a possibility but a very very viable option. We see the person we're talking to, we hear them, and we hear it in real time. It's the quality has gone up exponentially in the past few years. We can have online chats and we literally have video tape of everything. Any subject that we can imagine can be easily accessed on YouTube or other platforms. We have streaming TV, streaming movies, and everything is literally at our fingertips. What may seem obvious is sometimes forgotten. I don't ride in a wagon anymore. I don't even have a landline as of about 10 years ago. And I also though don't drive to a building to get my spirituality. I take advantage of everything I have in the 21st century. I take in all the information I can. Since I have access to all kinds of information from all different parts of the world, from all different times in history, I use all of that information. I use all my forms of communication that I can, and when I travel, I access this information and use everything to my advantage. I don't anymore let one man tell me what to believe. I don't go to a place and ask someone what I should believe or what they think I should believe. I don't depend on one group to be my only spiritual influence. I don't pretend uh, gathering in an auditorium to hear a speech and a concert is real community. I know that's not true and I know it's not anything like what originally it started out to be. I allow myself to grow and expand by exploring electronically and when I go out into nature and just experience it. I rode in a horse-drawn wagon once and I don't ever want to do it again. Just like we once evaluated all of these things and said the simple phrase, I think we can do better. We have to do this about everything else, including religion and spirituality. That's why my wife and I wrote a book called Out Into the Desert, Thriving Outside of Organized Religion. We wanted to do the evaluation of church and religion in the 21st century and see if it still makes sense. Are we still driving a wagon or a covered wagon or even a station wagon to a building to hear a person deliver a speech and then listen to a concert? Is this working in the 21st century? Is this the best we can do? The answers, I believe, may even be inexpensive. The answers may be way better solutions to our problems. The answers may be simpler, but also deeper and more lasting. Think about the cell phone that we imagined when we were watching Star Trek. We watched them use their quote-unquote communicators and they were very much like a flip phone which we now make fun of as ancient. Look how far we've come in just a few years. I say let's evolve. Let's evolve and we might even still need religion. But if we do, then so be it. If we don't, then maybe we never needed it anyway.